One thing Tony did is say, if there's ever anybody that needs to fill the time, I've got plenty of words for it. Oftentimes they don't make sense, but plenty of words. Um, thank you. I'm honored. I'm humble. This means a lot. Um, scouting has been so important to me throughout my life. As a little kid, I always wanted to be a Cub Scout. As a matter of fact, as a little kid, we used to dress up like Cub Scouts. So what does that mean, dress up like a Cub Scout? That means that you're wearing a blue shirt and a yellow badge, stick it on your chest, and you're a Boy Scout. Had I known that 20 years after that, I'd be wearing a blue shirt and a silver badge. <laughs> Prophetic come. But we used to do things as Cub Scouts. We used to do collective things as Cub Scouts. Um, is anybody here old enough to remember paper drives? Yeah, yeah, yeah. remember paper drives? Yeah, Kirk, remember those things? Well, our dead mother was a lady by the name, I knew her, Mrs. Fricky. And she had two sons, one was an Eagle Scout, and, and Danny, who was younger, who was on his way to be an Eagle Scout. So she was our dead mother, and Ronnie was my age, and we would, we would uh, go to her house for meetings. And they had this weird thing that they did, um, specifically after the meetings, and they usually have treats. And um, Mrs. Fricky did this thing, and told us, taught us how to do this thing, it's called bobbing for apples. <laughs> now we're all familiar with that here in Indiana, right? But we came, my father was a military guy, so we lived all around the world, and so bobbing for apples meant nothing to me. And so what Mrs. Freaky did is she put these apples on a barrel of water, and she said, no, go ahead and grab your apples, and go ahead, if you can get an apple, you can eat it. And of course, all the guys are in there sticking their heads in the water, and sticking their heads in the water, I walk up and I just grab an apple. <laughs> yeah. And started eating, and she goes, no, 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 you can't use your hands. And I said, well, that doesn't make any sense. God gave me two. <laughs> Why would I use them? And from that point on, I think I knew that Scotty was going to be an influence in my life. Um, the other thing is that um, coming from a, a family with a military background, my dad was in the Navy, he was a pilot in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam, retired as a full commander, and my brother was in, in, in the uh, Army, and he was a helicopter pilot in Vietnam and stayed in for another 30 years after that. Uh, so coming from a family with a military background, uniforms are very important to me. And the first exposure to a uniform was that a Boy Scout uniform? Now again, a lot of Boy Scouts, especially Cub Scouts, when they start wearing the uniform, don't necessarily know where to stick stuff. Having an older brother and a father that came from the military, dad would get out there with his ruler and measure how far the badges have to be away from the line where your buttons are. The other thing was about specifically Cub Scouts was that we learned that there was a greater good. We learned that there was a better purpose in life just serving yourself. And I think that lesson is a hard lesson to learn back in the 60s, and it's an even harder lesson to learn now. You know, we live in a world now that has this degree of immediate satisfaction, immediate gratification. And sometimes I think that sends the absolute wrong message. Working for something, accomplishing a goal, getting that feeling of accomplishment, that feeling of a job well done, is something that we need to continue to remind, not just the young people of today, but sometimes the events older people. Putting in the effort is always worth it. And I think that's one of the strongest lessons that, boy, that scouting in general teaches. The second thing is, is that we as a community are strong because we are a community. And my good friend Tony couldn't have put it any better. We work together because that is what we need to do to make Greater Lafayette strong. And when I was elected mayor, it wasn't quite that way. There were relations, relationships between elected officials, but not necessarily partnerships. And when you look at the reason why we're here, if you grew up in a, in a service-oriented family like we did, if you grew up in scouting, you knew that there is a greater purpose than self. And that's working collaboratively together to make sure that good things happen. Scouting is a start of that. The career that you choose is a process of that. And the life that you lead, hopefully, is a result of that. So I'm here to thank scouting for the successes that I've had I'm here to thank the people in my family, my wife and Mary. Mary, just stand up and say hi. <laughs> Obviously, our daughter, Michelle. Michelle, stand up and say hi. <laughs> okay, pop quiz. Who did Michelle take after? <laughs> <laughs> Not just kidding. 
Um, and all my friends, Sam, Tony, everybody that spoke on the video, thank you so much. My staff at the city of West Lafayette, everything that we have done, all of the successes that we have, have, have been because of you. I am just a lucky guy that's sitting in the chair while you guys are doing these amazing things. Each and every one of you cares so much about citizens, about public service, about making sure that everybody is getting their work from our service. And I deeply appreciate and love you all so much for what you do. And finally, finally, let's go in general. People who grow up with that level of discipline, with the understanding that it's not all about them, that there is a greater good, a greater calling, a greater purpose in life, will contribute to life a bit down the road. And I look at Rob here in the audience today, and first off, wow, I didn't know that many people liked me. <laughs> well, I know some of you had told to be here, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Except for Tracy. <laughs> I'm not going to say that to us. <laughs> but it's because of you, and because of Scott, and because of this community, because of the unique relationship that we have here in this community, to be able to work collaboratively together, to share resources, and in the case of myself and Tony and the commissioners, to share friendships, to have each other's back. Thank you. So that's enough for me. I've said about all that I can say, except for thank you so very much. This is such an honor, something I never anticipated, and thank you all so much for showing up.